way the smartphone looks. So, so this is a great question on that side. You know, we, we were also the first company in the world to have a smartphone app for e-bikes. Okay? Uh, now, since then, we have got a great amount of uh, uh, development done on our smartphone app. Now, this app essentially works with, with BLE, right? Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol. Our console works with, uh, with the N Plus protocol. This works with the Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol, right? So, in this app, you can see that this is a, this is a front screen, and we can actually change the level of assist, right? If I slide my finger up and down, so first I have to connect with the motor. Let me just first walk you through the different screens we have. So if I slide my finger from right to left on an empty space, I can go to the next screen called eDrive data, okay? Then again, if I slide my finger from right to left, this is uh, lock, unlock mode. This is the cruise mode, which we, to remove the speed limit, right? Then this one is our torque sensor settings, which allows us uh, customization of the pedal assist or torque sensor settings. Then we have got torque sensor parameters, which allows us to diagnose any issues with the torque sensor, okay? And then we have the last screen called power configurator, which allows us additional customization of different levels of assist, okay? So I'm gonna take you back to, uh, to the first screen. And we have another thing, uh, which I wanna show you is, if you look at these three dots, we, you know, all these things, motor ID settings, TSID settings, CRM settings, device information, battery type, sensor selection, all of these are also accessible for the purpose of troubleshooting. When we have a troubleshoot, we can also use these settings, okay? Now, in order to connect the app to the motor, we hit this, uh, this uh, circle here with the blue center, okay? When I hit it, so what I have to do is, I have to first turn the battery uh, off and turn it on because we have a three minute window in which the, the app has to be paired, okay? So if it is more than three minutes, then the window of connection closes, okay? So I have turned the battery off and then on. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I am going to hit this, uh, and then I have to look for Falco eDrive. Okay, so there is right on the top Falco eDrive, I'm gonna select it. It is going to establish connection, and it takes a few seconds, and now, it is, as soon as it connects, there should be a blue icon right here, which appears. And now your time starts, and then if you have, it will show you the speed. So now if, if, if I move the wheel, I should be able to see the speed here, right? So you can see both of these will show me the speed, okay? Now I can also change the level of assist, right? So here we are, if I go back here, it's showing me level of assist is three. Under eDrive data, in the bottom left-hand side, I can see temperature slash level. This shows us temperature of the motor every 30 seconds and the level of assist. So it kind of toggles between two values, okay? So right now, level of assist is three. This is also showing three, okay? Now let's see if I want to change it. I want to go back and now see this, this basically is uh, zero, okay? Now I'm at zero mode, okay? Now this is still showing plus three on the console. Doesn't matter, you can either use this one or that one. Okay, let's see what the eDrive data. eDrive data is showing me zero, okay? All right, so, so we are going to, this is zero mode, and then if I continue to slide my finger from top to the bottom, I can go to, so this is minus three, minus four, minus five, okay? So I can go back to, um, Level one. Now this in the middle shows you that the battery is fully charged, okay? You can see the green shows the battery is fully charged. These Falco wings essentially fill up. They become red when you're drawing too much power from the battery, okay? And how much, how much battery you are drawing, how much current you are drawing, that explains how much, how many of these, how much of the wing is filled up with the red current, okay? Then you have got these wings also become green when you are putting energy back in the battery, right? That means you're actually generating energy and you're putting it back in the battery, okay? Now, so for changing the level of assist, all I need is the screen here. 
Okay? So simply, just like the console, I can also use the smartphone to change the level of assist. Now there's something interesting we have added in this app is uh, called, this is called the emergency stop. Okay, so when I hit this emergency stop, it goes to minus three level of regeneration. So if I go ahead and just hit it, so what we'll do is, I'm gonna turn on the motor slightly, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna hit this. And you can see this also went to minus three, and then this also, you can see this is went to one, two, three, four, five bars, which indicates minus three. Okay, so that is one way to have a break immediately with the smartphone. Okay, now smartphone issue, you know, offers you a lot of data, e drive data. So let's look at the e drive data. What does the e drive data tell you? So e drive data gives you a lot of interesting information. It tells you what is the voltage, what is the current, what is the battery capacity, what are the instantaneous watts, what are the watt hour consumed, watt hour remaining, watt hour per mile miles range remaining, then you have the temperature slash level, and then you have edge sensor error. Now edge sensor error, uh, basically this becomes one when there is something wrong inside the motor. Okay, then this becomes one, okay. And then you have got torque sensor settings, oh sorry, this is, before we go to torque sensor settings. So this is essentially if I hit lock, that gives you a speed limit of 20 miles per hour. If I unlock it, it unlocks the speed limit of 28 miles per hour. Okay. Now, this is the torque sensor settings. Now, torque sensor settings, there are eight parameters. Turn on speed, turn on delay, base torque, turn off delay, flip axle, torque multiplier, ten, torque sensor turn on, and drop it offset. Okay. And I can also hit memory read and see what is inside the motor. So... <clears throat> So we're going to see what's happening here. So it takes a couple of seconds to read it. And it is going to also memory read successfully, read speed or torque sensor. Okay. Now we don't like speed or torque sensor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to sensor selection and I'm going to say, give me torque and speed sensor. Okay. Now I'm going to hit broadcast to tell the motor to switch from torque or speed sensor, torque and speed sensor, because that gives us the most natural uh, riding experience, okay? So it's gonna take a few seconds to broadcast. So you can see that it is broadcasting, and then we're gonna hit memory read, and, and uh, we'll see what it says, okay? So 40, 47, 50, 53, 57, 67, 73, 87, 90, 93, and there you go. Memory read successfully, it says red torque and speed, so that's good. Now, when I want to make things, you know, torque sensor very sensitive, I normally would like to set this, uh, increase the sensitivity by increasing my dropout, uh, sorry, my multiplier to 12. That means my effort is multiplied 12 times by the motor, okay? Also, I can make it more sensitive by decreasing this number. I want to keep this number drop it offset to two, okay? And if I want to make it even more sensitive, I want to reduce my, uh, this to two as well, torque sensor turn on value, okay? So I guess I can only have three, okay? So we, we will go with three here, okay? So three, okay? So 12 to three, this allows me extremely sensitive torque sensor. That means with little effort, I can get a lot more from the motor, okay? So uh, these settings, turn on speed, turn on delay, base torque, turn off delay, etc. they are not as important today as they were three years ago because then we didn't have the speed sensor. Okay, now we're using the speed sensor to be able to optimize the torque sensor, okay? So with these settings, these three settings, torque multiplier, drop offset, torque is a turn on, these allow for a lot more sensitivity to my push. Okay, so I can really feel the power of the motor with those settings. So I'm gonna broadcast this and have those settings permanent for my riding, okay? So it takes a few seconds here to broadcast.
Okay, so that's done. Broadcast is done. Now let's go to this screen here. Oh, I guess we're going to do memory read. So the motor, the console shows some numbers here when you're memory reading because console does uh, pick up some numbers through wireless communication, but they are not really real numbers, right? So you can ignore those numbers. Okay, so I think uh, we have got that done. Now let's go to the next screen. So this is torque sensor parameters. This allows us to see how your torque sensor is working. The only number which is really important is torque sensor raw value. It's showing 474. Right? So you want to make sure when we push on the pedals, right? when we push on the pedals while holding the brake, I want to have this number go down. Okay, So you can see when I push on the pressure, my number goes down. So that's a good thing. That means that your wheel is actually installed properly. Okay, Now, let's go to the power configurator. Here I'm going to hit on the motor image. and it loads up the motor. And it's going to read what's inside the motor. Okay. So we can see that, you know, what is the support level for level of assist 4, 7, 8, 16, 20, 24. Now these are different support levels, right? Now we can change these support levels. For example, I can increase it. Okay, I can go ahead and increase this further. Okay. Or I can go ahead and decrease these. Okay, I want to, let's say, make it 3, make it 4, make it 7, make it 12, make it 14, make it 16. So this allows me better, better uh, battery conservation. Okay, so lower these to have battery, better range of the battery, increase this to have more power. So I want better battery range, so I have lowered the levels, and I can go ahead and hit broadcast. So again, it'll take a few seconds to broadcast. I wish it were faster like that, but it's not. So we'll do memory read. Again, when we're doing memory read, we see some garbage numbers show up on the console. The motor is not working, but that is uh, the nature of the beast. Sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, two fifty, one ninety. So there you go. Okay. So that is, you know, very quick tutorial on uh, on how you can use a smartphone app. Right. So it's it's a quite amazing uh, app we have, which allows you not only control the level of assist, it also allows you to monitor, diagnose, and customize your writing experience with the app. So a lot of, so this app is available free of cost from either the, the Apple uh, App Store or the Android Play Store, Google Play Store, right?